Hello, today we will be solving gate code problem number 191, number of 1 bits. And this problem is uh, a bit easy. Uh, write a function that takes an inside integer and returns the number of 1 bits it has. And it is also known as Hamming gate. So let's take an example of it. The example statement here. I'll just paste this on the whiteboard. So here we have got the input statement that is n, and we just have to count the number of ones in it. That is the number of ones present in the n. So here we can see it is one, two, three. So we'll just return three here. And in C++, we can do this by using the STL. And the syntax for that is underscore underscore V U I L T I N underscore built in underscore P O P pop com C O U N T this is c o u n t and here we just have to give our number as the function integer so we'll pass this and we'll get our answer so let's see so i've written the same thing here return built in pop count n so this should give me the number of ones that is present in n okay so i'll just submit this and i'll show another way to do this without using the built-in pop count and this is getting submitted so here i'll just comment this out i'll comment this total thing so this is the actual code that you need to write if someone asks to return the number of ones without using the c++ template which is provided so we'll simply just look through the n that is we'll go from here till here and we'll just do the operation n and n minus one so what does this do i'll just explain this with another example because this integer is too big and i'll just erase this part okay, i should take a bigger eraser should be fine so i'll take an example of 10 so that is 1 0 1 0 this is 0 Sorry. so this is 0 1 0 1 0 this is the binary equivalent of 10 this is the binary equivalent of 10 and what i have done here is i have done a count i've taken a counter variable and initialized it to 0 and i'll be doing counter plus plus every time and this n is equals to n and n minus 1 statement what it does is that the n here is 1010 and what will be n minus 1 n is 10 and n minus 1 will be 9 so how do we represent 9 in binary so we represent it like this 10 1 1 and we'll do an and operation to it so with the and operation we mean it like if the AND operation means 1 and 0 will always give me 0 and 1 and 1 will give me 1. We should just remember this thing. It will be easy to do. So 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. This will be 0 as well and 1, 1 will be 1. So this is our current number n. And we have done C++. So our current value will be 1. So I'll be storing C's value here. C is equals to 1 for right now. And our current N is equals to this value. So this represents 8 in binary. And now we'll do N minus 1 again. As we are iterating over the loop. So N minus 1 is 7. And how do we represent 7 in binary? It is 0, 1, 1, 1. And we'll do an and of this again. So this should give me 0, 0, 0, 0. And our loop will end here 
because the condition here is while n is greater than 0. So now this is 0 and the counter will be increased to 2. Since we performed this operation two times, here was the first time, this one is the second time. So counter is 2. So as we can see, we have two ones in our n. So this is what we need to return. Now just return the counter. Let's run this. And this is getting accepted. Let me submit it. And this should get submitted as well. Okay. This is getting submitted as well. And that was it for today. Thank you for watching.